well, the first thing today, first thing today, is to get their education. That is so vitally important today. Um, there are not too many people that, that have attained the same position that I have that started the same way I did in the business, although there are a few. But today there's fewer because it does take that, if you're going to become the head of a studio, they're not looking at you unless you have an education. And uh, so the first, the first thing I would say is that you get your education, if it's going to be in film or, or theater art, or whatever it's going to be, um, never lose sight of the dream. I, you know, this is I, what I like to tell young people. Never lose sight of the dream, but understand to attain the dream, you have to set goals. Goal number one. Education. Goal number two, first job. Now, what I tell them as an interim is the first thing they should do when they get out of college, especially if they're not living in Southern California, is to go out and get a job someplace. Save up enough money to survive for six months in either Los Angeles or New York. One of those two places. Once they've done that, then break away from home, if they're still single, break away from home and make the move. And then, you know, take it upon themselves to, uh, to understand what the business is about by picking up the trade papers every day. You don't have to worry about buying them. You can always pick one up. In the, you know, you go to a restaurant someplace down in Hollywood, and you're going to find varieties in there. Or, so if money becomes a situation, you, people can learn to tough it and still get all that information. Never be afraid to talk to people. Never be afraid to ask questions. You may have some people turn you down, but, but you're going to have somebody who's going to answer the question that you've got on your mind. And then do your utmost. And you said it yourself. I was so proud when I heard you say that. You see a company shooting, go find the production manager and offer to go to work for nothing. And I don't care if you end up picking up horse patookers. And I can't tell you how many times I have said this to young people. You be the best at picking up horse patookers that they've ever seen. Because in the end, a movie company has one thing that's kind of special that, that no other business has. And everybody works 12 hours a day in this very tight environment. So what you end up with are 100, 120, 150 people who will sell your wares. Because at some point, someone, somebody's gonna say, I need to get a production assistant. I just worked with a guy, I just worked with this gal. They were fantastic. Oh, well, what was her name? Well, I've, I've got it at home, my, my crew list. Bingo, the next thing you know, you're getting a phone call. It works. I mean, it's proven that it works. And then you're getting paid. Not a lot of money yet, but you got your foot in the door. So no matter what job that you get, you'd be the very best. When we were doing Minority Report, Fred Adams, who's the founder and the, the chairman of the uh, Utah Shakespearean Festival of Cedar City. He's been doing this for 40 years. He started out with nothing, but he, he, had, he made it. So on one of my little trips up there to SUUCC to talk to the kids, I guess it was them, talking to Fred one day, and, and he said, you know, my son, he really wants to go to work in the business. I said, really? Yeah, he said he's going to graduate from college, blah, blah, blah. I said, well, you want to get done, you have to give me a call. So he did. So the timing worked out. Had him come down, introduced him to a couple of people on the show, hired him. And he worked at that job for a week or two weeks, and somebody else there, I don't know how they even, how they even came together. It's irrelevant, I guess. But they liked him. So he did the complete movie, Minority Report. When that was over, I found out that he wanted to continue his education, and he wanted to go to one of the film schools. So in asking me which one I thought would be great, I said, well, USC is very, very expensive. UCLA is good. I said, but there's a little school down here in Orange County, Chapman University, great film school. So the dean is a phenomenal guy, and he's dedicated to the task at hand. And uh, he said, well, I'm interested in that. I said, okay. So I made a phone call. Next thing you know, he's in, and he's in school down there right now. However, he just got a phone call from some of the guys who worked on Minority Report in the movie. I just saw his dad here a week and a half ago, and he was telling me that he's going to go to work on this movie. For him. So he will slowly make his moves. Now, he had a leg up on a lot of people because his dad knew me. But again, 
that's, it's like networking, and it works. We have a lot of young kids today who came out of the, the school systems in Utah, out of, out of BYU and that, um, who are now working in Hollywood in one capacity or another because of Chuck Metten, because of John Garbett, because of Jerry Mullen, because of trying to see to it that young people with a like mind had an opportunity in a business that uh, is tough to work in, tough to get started, but you know, anybody can do it. The people that don't make it, the people that fail are the people who don't work at it. You know, and it's not easy. No one ever said it was easy. That's why I always tell them, save up enough money so you can get by for six months. The, um, I've always found it interesting when you're first starting out, um, it was very difficult to get your first job. Your next one comes a little easier, and the next one a little easier. I mean, does it continue like that? Yeah, if you're good, and you're, you're the best, like I say, you're the best, and make it a point, you you're, do everything you can to be the best that you can be. And I'm not trying to sound corny here or, or a cliche, but I'm serious. If you are, and in your mind you know you are without being arrogant or pushy, because that's the first thing that'll cost you a job, uh, you'll make it. Because when people go to do a movie, they want to surround themselves with the very best people they can, because it makes their job easier. So those young people are going to get a job. 